Hey guys, it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about my first YouTube paycheck and how I make money as a small creator, a small YouTuber. If you didn't know, my channel got re-monetized back in July. My channel was originally monetized on YouTube, but then YouTube changed the requirements to that you needed a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Finally hit that in July. I made a whole video about getting monetized and that process of actually getting monetized if you wanna go check it out. Today we're going to be talking more about the after you get monetized what happens and how you actually get paid from the YouTube Partner Program. If you like this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. That lets me know that you liked it and it lets YouTube know that you liked it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button wherever it is and stick around for more of my videos. So for my first YouTube paycheck since being re-monetized, the total was $165.44. Let's break this down a little bit. So I got remonetized, I believe it was on July 9th. It was somewhere around there. And this money from this paycheck is from July 9th or whatever date that was until August 31st. So it was about a month and two thirds, a month and a half of revenue. Like I said, I was previously monetized on YouTube before getting re-monetized this time. So I did have some money saved in my AdSense from that first time that I was monetized. So I already had that $35.11 from when I was previously monetized. That was just in my AdSense waiting to be paid out to me. And then I made $44.40 .40 in July. So that combined was still under the $100 minimum threshold and YouTube does not pay you out until you get over that threshold. So I didn't get paid in August anything because I didn't make enough in July. For August, my views went way up. I had a few videos perform really, really well, like my iPad unboxing. If you wanna see that video, it's over there. So my AdSense revenue went way up. One, because of that video doing really well, and two, because it was a full month. July was not quite a full month, so I didn't get as much revenue as I could have. And also, I don't think I went in and re-monetized all of the videos that I could have um, and added in ads everywhere that I could have. So for August, I ended up making $85.93, which I did not expect to be making this much in a month on YouTube, especially just kind of starting monetization again. But honestly, I'm really proud of myself that I made $85 in a month. The minimum threshold is $100. So that's really close to that. And if I just kind of work a little bit harder, get my views up a little bit more, I think I could be getting $100 a month and getting at least one paycheck every single month from YouTube, which is pretty cool. So with the money that was previously in my AdSense and then the money from July and August, I finally had reached the $100 threshold. It ended up being way over the $100 dollar threshold because August was such a good month and I was kind of just under the threshold for July. So we ended up getting paid in September. A few things to know after you get monetized and when you start earning money in the YouTube Partner Program. The first thing is that you need to verify that you are you. Google slash YouTube wants to make sure that you are the one earning the money and that you are a real person and can get that money. So they send you a little pamphlet thing in the mail with a code and then you have to input that code into your channel, into your channel settings. Honestly, I don't 100% remember how this works because I did it way back when, when I was originally monetized. I'm sure there's other videos where people kind of explain that more in depth. I don't 100% remember how it goes. I do know that they send you a code. You have to go into AdSense and input it so that they know it's you. The next thing to know is that AdSense only updates once a month. It is usually on the 12th or 13th around that day. YouTube updates your estimated ad revenue daily. It normally happens in the afternoon or evening at some time. I haven't found a set time that it actually updates by, but you earn all your money or you earn all your analytics in one day and most of your analytics will update at midnight or at the start of the next day, but the ad revenue that you made from the previous day doesn't update until sometimes it's 3 p.m., sometimes it's 7 p.m., sometimes it takes two days for it to load, but normally it's in the afternoon or evening of the next day. But your AdSense only updates once a month, so you can see your estimated revenue on YouTube, but this is not 100% the total amount that you actually earn through AdSense, it just gives you an estimate. The third thing to know is something that I already mentioned, and it's that you have to reach a $100 minimum threshold in order to get paid out. You're not gonna get paid out until you're over a hundred dollars and your money if you don't reach that threshold just carries over to the next month so like i said july i didn't hit 
the minimum threshold so all that money that I already had just got pushed to August and then August I earned enough money to put me over that threshold and that leads me to the fourth point is that you get paid out the next month so just like AdSense doesn't update until the 12th of the next month you don't get your check until the 21st or the 22nd of the month after so August I finally made enough money to reach that minimum threshold AdSense updated on the 12th of September and then I got paid out on the 21st this day is going to vary a little bit if the 21st is on a weekend it normally pushes to the 22nd but it is normally the 21st 22nd for most people sometimes it's a little bit delayed but for the most part you should expect your check on the 21st now I wanted to talk about a few other ways you can make money as a small youtuber small creator for me the YouTube partner program has become my highest revenue source for YouTube my small revenue just keep that in mind you don't make a ton of money as a small creator I also find it is the most consistent while it's not a ton of money that I'm earning every day it is normally around two dollars and eighty cents for me every single day so that I just know is going to be there it might fluctuate a little bit up and down but for the most part I'm consistently getting that every single day the next way I make money is through affiliate links before I got monetized this was the only way I was monetizing my channel but now that I monetize I have two kind of main sources of income from YouTube a few things to know about affiliate links number one is that it is not consistent my YouTube 28 day estimated revenue pretty much stays the same every single day it might fluctuate up or down just a little bit but it has stayed pretty much consistent since I started getting monetized but affiliate links is never ever consistent some months I might make a lot some months I might make zero it's a nice little boost and it's a little bit of income that I can put back into my channel but I would not rely on this completely especially as a small creator if you're bigger you're going to get more consistent money through affiliate links but again it totally varies you might have a really high month you might have a really low month you can't Kind of predict what it's going to look like the next thing to know about affiliate links is that it takes a very long time to actually get paid out your affiliate money youtube it does have a month delay to getting your paycheck when you get that minimum threshold but affiliate links it's normally much longer than a month it could be up to 60 to 90 days before you actually see that money that you make through commissions through affiliate links. And the last thing to know is that there are a ton of different affiliate platforms out there, linking platforms out there, and you kind of have to do your research and see which ones you qualify for and which ones are going to work best for you. The first one I use is Amazon. Pretty much anyone can qualify to become an Amazon associate. It's pretty easy to apply and get approved, but Amazon has a lot of rules when it comes to their platform and you really have to pay attention to the rules and regulations and what you can and can't do with Amazon affiliates. The second affiliate program I use is reward style. This one is a little bit harder to get approved for than Amazon, but it's still pretty easy. Most people I know have gotten approved for it and there's a lot more options to link. Amazon, obviously you can only link Amazon products, but reward style has a ton of different websites to use and a lot of different platforms you can link through. So I really like reward style. Definitely a one to look for if you are a smaller creator or just getting started out with affiliate links. And the third affiliate program I use is magic link they have increased their minimum follower requirement to 10k it used to be 1k so I applied a long time ago and got approved when the requirement was 1k but now it is 10k so you can't apply until you have 10,000 followers on a platform but if you do meet the follower requirement I highly suggest magic links I find it a lot more user friendly than reward style there's just a lot more options linking is so much easier I really like magic links and for me this is my highest earner for affiliate links and my most consistent so I really Really like magic links it's a bummer that they increase their follower requirement but it's definitely a good platform to use if you qualify and the last way to make money as a smaller creator is through brand deals this is not something I have been able to monetize on my channel yet I'm still a pretty small channel but I have seen other people be successful through brand deals as a small creator so you just have to be really specific and targeted with what companies you're working for and what companies you reach out to obviously as a smaller creator you're going to make a lot smaller of an amount through brand deals than a much bigger creator but you can successfully get brand deals paid brand deals it's just going to be a smaller amount and it probably won't be as consistent but I have seen some other smaller youtubers smaller creators be successful with getting brand deals that is it for this video I hope it was helpful if you are a smaller creator and you're trying to figure out how you can make money or how much money you can make through the YouTube partner program. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below, and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one.